Alright, what is going on everybody, it's Liam here and welcome to today's video on the channel and in today's video we will be reviewing the new Nightmare Gauntlet gear that Wizard 101 has just dropped into Live Realm. Now at the time of me recording this audio, you actually do not have access to it. You can buy the recipe from the guy in the shopping district, the little uh, squirrel looking dude, I forget what he's called, but you can buy the recipe as you see on screen right here. Um, I also bought the marsh and the bahu moss, but you cannot get the swamp moss right now, so we have to wait until King's Isle updates the game and makes these reagents obtainable to act. Also, I believe a pack is coming as well. I assume all of this stuff will drop within the next update whenever that is. In general, uh, if you want like a quick summary, I will be obviously going in detail you know in this video but this gear is extremely extremely good for both pvp and pve and i think the level bands are like 50 100 and max level i think don't quote me on that but it's kind of following the same format as the highland gear that we see in the arena from last year with the unforgiven dead gauntlet but uh yeah i just wanted to you know briefly give you a quick summary here at the start the gear is really good it kind of follows the highland format gauntlet from last year where you can see it being you know obviously uh level 100 level 150 and level 50 respectively so and uh yeah without further ado guys let's get right into this video so hopping over to Twitter here, I am going to go to the Atmoplex. Now, shout out to Atmoplex again. We use their Twitter a lot here on the channel for providing the news, obviously. So shout out to them on Twitter. Uh, go give them a follow over on Twitter here. But uh, they actually put together a very nice list here. Just let me find it. Of all the new gear. So the Nightmare Horde Pack. Your stats, as you see right here here uh we'll be starting with i guess the balance gear now it's kind of hard to see i know i i don't really think i can make it any any bigger unfortunately but um you probably pause the video and like zoom in if you're on a phone or something like that but the gear is honestly really good now if you pay attention it is very identical to the aeon gear set the difference between this and the Aeon gear set is you give up a bit of damage, like one to two pierce, and you know, maybe three to four damage, but you get a resist or two, way more block, and way more health on each gear piece. So I don't think full nightmare will be meta, personally, at least in PvP. I think running one or two pieces of nightmare gear will be meta, but that is the balance gear. Next up, we have the death gear right here as well. Um, looks, again, pretty darn good. That that death robe, I got my eye on that one. That seems really cracked, in my opinion. The wands are pretty good as well. The wands do give pretty good item cards, and they give you an off-school wand hit. So, for example, death has a fire wand instead of a death wand now. So... That would be weaker to chromatic effects, obviously, but you could save your blades and knock off towers and regular weaknesses, right? So it is pretty darn cool. And you'll probably notice that the amulets as well here are really, really good. I think all the amulets are really good except for Storm, I think, because King's Isle really sucks at making Storm gear, unfortunately. But uh, this is the fire gear. What, that's balanced death and now this is fire fire's gear set is absolutely cracked in my opinion these stats are just nuts i'm definitely definitely gonna farm this gear a lot on my fire really really good gear set again the amulet as well is uh, not amazing you know you'd probably still want a mastery in my opinion but the mastery is usable which is pretty darn cool next up we have ice Ice gear, again, is uh, pretty good. That ice robe looks like a demon. Um, 1700 health, 20 resist, 27 damage, and 4 pierce. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, pretty wild. And then ice gets an amulet with 11 resist. 
Like, bro, give me 11 resist on, like, a storm or a fire, bro. Like, come on now, dude. This is stupid. We get zero resist when people hit us. Come on now. And uh, another thing I want to point out about the amulets and the decks, actually, is each amulet gives a brace, and each deck gives an empowerment. Now, empowerment is kind of trashed, at least at max level, like, you know, in the meta, PvP. So, uh, pretty useless. However, uh, the stats on the deck are actually pretty cool. The, uh, you know, the crit, the block, the arch mastery is all pretty dandy and stuff like that. Flat resist socket as well is pretty useful. Next up, we have the life gear. Life gear, just like ice, really cracked. Again, um, life has almost the same amount of resist as ice, which I'm not sure why life is not a resist school. Not sure why King's Isle is still giving life uh, resist when they have health. Don't really understand why. Then their boots are really good. What, like just all the life gear, really good. I think the amulet is gonna be the next best amulet. If you're a life player, you're gonna definitely want this amulet 100 billion percent. It's better than the current eternal amulet in Live Realm because it's like the same thing, but you get a brace item card that you can use and you get one extra resist. So it's just better, right? Next up, we have Myth. So we've covered five schools now. So I think we have uh, Myth, Storm, and I don't know what else. But Myth's gear is pretty darn good as well. Uh, not quite as good as Life's gear set, but still really solid stats. Same. It's kind of very similar to Death, by the way. The Myth robe seems really similar to the Death robe, which uh, I find very interesting, actually. Myth Amulet. 10 resist, again, really solid amulet. Probably will be the next best amulet, in my opinion. Again, Eternal, I think, is a 9, so it's the exact same thing, but you get a better item card, and you get one extra resist. So again, these will be meta on every school except for Storm and maybe Fire. Storm gear, now the Storm gear is, uh, again, pretty bad. Um, th this has been a problem for, I think, two years now at King's Hell. <laughs> Really sucks at making storm gear, unfortunately. But it's not terrible. I'll, I'm not. I'll tell you. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, bro. It's usable gear. Um, I think the meta personally will be the nightmare robe and the nightmare boots with the Aeon hat and the Nelody wand. That's what I think. Again, could be absolutely wrong. Maybe one piece is better. Maybe the full piece is better. I don't really know. But I've talked to my other friends about it as well, and we kind of mutually agree that. Uh, double mire, like the boots and the uh, the coat are going to be the best for Storm. And once this gauntlet drops, I will have updated videos for y'all uh, with the best builds and stuff like that. And maybe a guide to the new gauntlet as well if you guys are interested in that. But um, everything else, again, is just completely dog shit because Storm stats are horrible. Literally everything else is horrible. Amulet sucks. Just use Eternal at that point. Uh, ring is probably the next best piece of gear, to be honest with you. The ring is not terrible, in my opinion. The theme is really bad, hat's kind of bad, and the, the wand is... It's okay, but it, it's not that good. And typically, you want a storm wand on a storm because, you know, that's what you need. A lot of set shields, typically. Um, people use. And I think we covered every school, right? Did we? Um, yep, there's four there and three here. Wow, I'm stupid. I can't do math. Okay. Well, I guess that's everything, y'all. Um, again, if you just want to go back and look at some of the pieces of gear here, you can just pause the video uh, when I was talking about each piece of the school of gear. Um, again, I can read it on my screen and the it's literally a capture device, so I'm pretty sure y'all could read it as well if you're on a phone or tablet or computer, whatever you're watching this video on. I think y'all could probably read it just fine as well, but um, you could probably just zoom in a bit if you cannot. But yeah, I uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, a like and a sub is always appreciated. And you know, turn noties on as well. Again, I do post every day and I will get some videos out 
pretty soon with, you know, the new gauntlet, how to do it, the best strats and the best gear for that stuff. And I will be working on an updated tier list for PvP as well, but I need to obviously play a lot more, get that experience before I offer my opinion and the feedback to the devs. But, uh, yep, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and take care, y'all.